Hey guys, this is Matt Edwards from Vought RV, and today I'm going to show you one of the new uh, lightweight half-ton towable toy haulers. This particular one right here is the 265 TH J Flight. Okay, it's an all-aluminum, it's all uh, metal trailer on a wooden frame, insulated. That happens to be locked, so you do have locks out here. We're going to start over here. This one's kind of convenient because your batteries go right up here. And this particular one has the smaller propane bottles, which is great because this one matches the one in the backyard, so it's easy to change out at 7-Eleven, okay? We've got a power tongue jack up here, diamond plate rock guard. Here you can see the pass-through storage that goes through here. And you'll notice that step over there, which I'll show you what that goes to here in a second, which is pretty cool. This unit is belly wrapped, okay? So that way if you want to go up someplace where it's cold, take snowmobiles or Wyoming or somewhere like that, you're well insulated over here, okay? We're at 30 amp service. Here's your outside shower, of course. Black tank flush. Your sewer's right down here for black and gray. We're a little short from the plug, so we got cords sticking up a little bit. Hot water tank. Just like all Jayco's from the big pinnacle all the way down to the small ones, everything carries the Goodyear uh, tires that are American made, not Japanese made. They're a little dirty from transport, but um, you've got the, you know, the pretty wheels. There's also galvanized steel up here. That way if a tire does shred on you, it doesn't beat the tar out of your trailer over there. Okay? We've got our city water connection right here, fresh water tank. Uh, cable hookup. These are your vents for your garage inside, so that way if you pull your Harley in there or your four-wheeler, you can open those up and it sucks the fumes out of there. We're going to come back to this here in just a minute when we come up to the outside, but you'll notice you've got your uh, docking lights up there, you've wired for a backup camera, and in all Jayco's, it's really cool, their safety system is when you're turning left or right, of course this blinks, but a light up there blinks as well as the whole side of your trailer. So that way someone behind you, two or three cars back, can say, hey, that guy's turning left or right. On the entertainment side, we've got your awning. We've got our LED lights up there, which is really nice because it doesn't attract a lot of bugs, okay? You've got a mount right here for a TV set. In fact, Jayco gives you the mount. It's inside. It'll hold a 32-inch TV, your power and your cable. So that way if you're at a NASCAR, football, or you just want to watch a movie underneath the stars, you can do that, okay? We've got the Moride Step System, okay, which is just super easy. Instead of the, what I call the knuckle busters, this just lifts up and locks into place, okay? When you're ready, you pull it down. The legs are adjustable depending on the terrain that you're in, okay? All righty. Ryan, you ready to go inside? Yeah, let's hop on it. All righty. Hey folks, make sure to give us a like and subscribe below for content just like this. And make sure to check back here often for a lot more content. Let's get back to the video. So the first thing I wanted to show you was what it was like closed up, okay? Because if you're taking the wife, like I would take my wife, she'd want to know well, what's it going to be like on the inside, okay? So you've got your two seats right over here that fold out to, to, to couches, okay? Here's a table Jayco sends with you that'll fit right here over here in the middle, or you can take it outside or take it out on your patio, okay? So that way you can comfortably sit, you know, four people here. You've also got this right over here that you can fit the kids at. And this does drop down, so that way it's out of the way, okay? Now when you need beds, of course, you'll fold this back up and you'll take these beds and you can either pop one down or take them both down. Both down, you can sleep two adults real easy, okay? Now, the reason I did this closed up is so you can see that when it fits in here, it's all sealed up over here, okay? Brian and I have got the AC on right now. It is cooling off really, really nice back here. So that way, if you've got your toys outside, you're inside, it's raining, you're comfortable with the four people, okay? You've got your sink, double sink over here, along with all your storage. And just like all Jayco's, these are real wood, okay? No uh, paper mache stuff. We do a pre-delivery check on every unit that comes in. And what that consists of is making sure the hot water heater works, the AC works, 
it has the proper equipment that it was supposed to be on it when we ordered it. Okay? You've got your Furion free burner, how I put up here. Okay? It also has this glass cover that comes down if you need some extra prepping space over here too. Okay? Got your fan. Here's all your controls. Kind of cool, it's got lights on them. And then you've got a little bit bigger oven than some of the other ones. Okay? Microwave. And up here, if you notice when you look around at other trailers, none of this is screwed, none of this is, is stapled in. Everything is screwed in. This has a three-year structural warranty on it. This is real wood cabinets, just like you find in your house. Now up here, what Don and I do is you can buy those shelf dividers like at Lowe's or Home Depot. That way we can stack more groceries in here if we wanted to. Okay. Over here now is something that's going to be kind of new on all the trailers coming out. This is a 12-volt refrigerator, okay? This has a lot more volume, bigger space for the freezer, and bigger space down here. Now this runs off the 30 amp power, or if you choose, this unit is pre-wired for solar, okay? You could add a 190 watt solar panel up there, and it's best to add two batteries, and you can run your refrigerator off the two batteries, we'll say, you know, four to five days, maybe a week, depending on how you use it, and what the other electrical power you do. So you could really do some serious boondocking in this one, okay? Now, of course, you've got your hot water tank that's on electric or gas, okay? So, of course, if you're boondocking, you're gonna run it on gas, your hot water, okay? And then you've got your hot water pump that you'll use the electricity for from the batteries to pump your water in and out, okay? You've got plugs around here. That's the strap up there that holds the seat in place once it's put in. Now, with the door closed, You've got 12.9 in between here, okay? And you've got tie downs that are mounted to the frame here, there, and in the back, I believe, okay? I didn't measure this right here, though, to make sure. Now, empty weight on this is 5,000 pounds, so, and you can add up to about 1,500 pounds on it, so you could put, you know, a full dressed Harley in here, a Razor. Um, I want to say the height is like 8.2 in this, okay? Uh, we have a 15K AC because we're in Texas, okay? It gets hot up here. So this will put out a lot more air than some of the other brands that are out there because you can get them cheaper by putting in a 13.5, but, you know, you're just going to be upset. Okay, you got a little bit of a, you need to use this like coffee bar or you can mount another TV up here. <coughs> Excuse me, you've got your HTM cables and this one will plug. <coughs> Excuse me, this one will play DVD movies. And you've got storage in here, as well as down there. Breaker box right there. Above cabinet storage. And again, you know, if you put those shelves in there, it's a little bit more, uh, you get a little bit more storage out of it. Okay. Awning, lights, outside lights. Wow, that's a big sticker right there. Okay. Here's your uh, vent, if you've got toys in here that you can open these up, that'll suck the air out, okay? All right, bathroom is pretty good size. This has a porcelain commode, okay? That means it's gonna be nice, shiny, and clean when you clean it, okay? This is the same shower that we've had for a few years, and I really like it. I mean, I'm a pretty big old boy, but yet I can get in here and turn around, plenty of height, uh, the water's right here. I always change these out to different ones, but you know, you want to get the one that goes on and off so that way you can do the military showers to conserve water in case your wife has long hair like mine does, okay? Plus the water doesn't splash out of here, okay? So that's pretty cool. Your vanity right over here, of course you got your hot and cold, you got some storage down in here, but I've seen a couple of folks take this off and find the studs and put a small medicine cabinet in here that opens up, okay? You've got your plug right there, and you've got your door, okay? So that means you can close the bedroom door and close this door if you've got the kids with you, if you've got your in-laws, friends that have come out to play with you, so that way they kind of go to the restroom quietly without bothering you, okay? The bedroom is the short queen, okay? But this one's kind of nice. It's not real claustrophobic because this is opened up down here. 
You've got plugs on both sides. You've got your night light. Uh, you got a hanging closet here, and then you can either use that over there to stack stuff in or to hang stuff in. Okay. Now I mentioned earlier that she was pre-wired for solar, and that's where your control panel would go right there. Okay. It'd be a 30 amp controller, and what that does, that just keeps your batteries going. So yes, you can operate with one battery, but it's better, especially with the, with the refrigerator that's in here, is to put two batteries in. Uh, we give you one battery. Uh, when you purchase one, an extra battery is like 150 bucks. Okay. Now outside, I told you about the TV mount. That's it right there. Okay. Jayco is really cool, and they just slide that with you. And all you do is just hit the button on the back, pull it off, or put it back on. Okay. That way you can put a TV in here, maybe on a swivel that comes around, so that way it doesn't hit the door over there. Okay. You got storage up here storage in there and like I said you could take those out and put hanging if you needed to and you've also got storage underneath here okay and don't forget that step right there I'll show you where that goes you do have a uh, your stabilizers that you can crank down if you need to and your jack in case you do lose total power okay you've got your two windows over here on the side we kind of close these up out here to keep the the heat out but this is really nice because if you're at a right spot and you've got that real pretty uh, that real nice wind crosswind coming through there it's really nice and cool okay and you, of course you've got your vent back here for the AC that seems to be blowing out pretty good okay now we're gonna step outside and I'm gonna show you how easy the door comes down okay this is really easy to do one person can do that okay pop that off pull this up grab your handle and I just kind of walk it down okay sometimes your cables will get caught so you just have to move them around a little bit boom okay these lift up into place and then you just add your pins right there. This will pull around. Now they're a little bit more secure than that. I did them real easy so that way we can shoot them for the video. But this will give you an idea of the patio that goes all the way around. Now the step that was underneath the storage connects right here. So that way if you want to keep your door closed up there and you've got back up to the lake and you've got dinner in here or having drinks or cocktails uh, you can set your table out here and people can actually come up and down. It's a pretty good spot to keep a dog or a small kid in if you can, if you have to. Okay. Now also you'll see your screens right there that pull down. I pulled them in the middle a little bit so you kind of see it, but you can adjust those. Plus on the sides, Jayco's putting the, uh, the Velcro and the uh, coverings to cover up the corners. Okay, that way if you've got a dog or something in here, you can make sure that they're going to stay in there. Okay, now of course when you do your toy hauler, what you'll do is you'll pin, you'll pin these up and you'll lift on the gate and you'll pull these down and that'll drop down giving you room to drive up on it. Okay, um, I know a lot of folks that are in wheelchairs will get these so that way they can go camping and they'll just wheel up in the back of the coach. There's plenty of room. They can still sit down and have dinner. Uh, that way they can get out, you know? Pretty cool deal. Alrighty, so I've got two of these in stock right now. Uh, as you know, inventories are kind of low right now, but uh, we're still, uh, we still discount them. You know, we've been here 45 years. We're gonna be here long after the pandemic's over with. So my name and email address is right below there. Uh, hope everybody stays cool out there. Be safe and God bless. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vaught RV.